Okay, here's my Yamaha call out fall up. I have a 2001 XT225 and the service manual is wrong on a lot of other things besides top dead center, but I'm interested in the correct top dead center mark on the crankshaft rotor. I'm installing a new cam chain. I took the old cam chain out. It's definitely stretched. The old cam chain is about 3 sixteenths of an inch longer than the new cam chain. And I want to know what the top dead center mark is. And stick, stick to the end. Watch to the end because I'll tell you in the end what the true top dead center mark is on the XT225 2001 to 2007 rotor is. Okay. So here's a 2001 XT225. You can see three marks, the extended H, and then the third mark on the right. All right. When I opened my engine up, this is what I saw. The, when the cam here was aligned to the mark on the head, this is what I saw. All right. So to refresh memory here I'm, i was calling out yamaha the cam sprocket when installing a cam sprocket they tell you to line the rotor with the mark on next to the t and on my engine as you saw there is no t okay in the valve clearance adjustment they say the mark next to the t and top dead center on the compression stroke is when you check the valve clearance. I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in getting the correct timing on the chain. And here's my April 2001 email to Yamaha Pubs telling him that the that the pub was incorrect and I gave him the proof right there in pictures showing that it was not correct. They sent an email back on the 23rd saying that they were going to get in touch with Yamaha customer service and verify what I said and between that time I was flipping through the manual and lo and behold the manual the designation XT225H that's the 1996 model that is not current for the titled 2001 to 2007 manual they charged me $89 for and $24 to ship. So it was like $114 and change for this manual. And the reason why I bought the manual was because everybody online was saying it was the middle mark or the third mark. Nobody had proof. And all these people started, you know, calling names and all this other stuff when truly they didn't know what they were talking about. They had no proof. I have no proof. All I have is what I see in front of me. So I added an email April 23rd showing them that the 2001 to 2005 manual they sent me was actually for 1996. Okay, here's the answer I got back April 27th. I'm including the response we received directly from Yamaha customer service. They confirm, confirmed the manual you received is correct, which obviously it's not correct. And to me, that means Yamaha customer service doesn't know what they're talking about. Hopefully, they went to tech and asked them. And if they did, that means tech doesn't know what they're talking about either. I mean, I have the proof in pictures, right? So, we would like to stress that Yamaha Pubs does not offer technical or service-related advice. For those questions, please contact your local Yamaha dealership. Well, what's the dealership going to do? The dealership is going to go to the manual. And they're going to see the same thing I see. Aren't they going to ask a question? Are they going to assume? What are they going to do? Are they just going to open up the engine and put the marks exactly where they were before? What if somebody else worked on that engine? What if they put it on the wrong marks? You don't know unless you have a definitive book saying what it is. So they're just running around in circles. They don't know. Yamaha does not know. And then whoever this person is says, there is another way to ensure that you are at top dead center aside from the T mark being shown on the rotor. No kidding. I, whoever I is, 
I would compare the marks on the rotor to the mark on the camshaft. Okay, well, what, like I said before, what if somebody got into the motor and put it on the wrong marks? What if the chain, what if the cam chain is stretched and none of the marks match up, which is what my case is. None of the marks match up. Well, not all four marks match up at the same time. Let's put it that way. When at top dead center, the mark on the line on the camshaft will be aligned in the cylinder head, which is true. No kidding. Both rocker arms will have free play. By the way, the only way the, mark, the rocker arms will have free play is if it's on the compression stroke. If that cam gear is lined up to the head on the exhaust stroke, you won't have free play. So they were wrong here. From there, you will inspect the rotor and view which line is aligned with the pointer. Like I said, my cam chain was stretched and none of the marks lined up on the rotor. Okay. So. And then again, whoever I is, if I saw this out in the field, this would be my next source to determine if the engine is at top dead center. Notice they already said, just look at the marks, look at the marks. From there, you will know which line to go off of. In this case, the extended H, the customer sees on the rotor is the start and finish of the firing of the ignition, which is true. So likely, what does it mean? So likely, so likely what? You don't know? So likely it will be the first mark that the customer sees, which is absolutely incorrect. Anybody, any person, any mechanic who's worked on a motor before or worked on an engine before rather knows that the spark will always be before top dead center. Always. There will never, never be a spark after top dead center. Okay, so this is wrong. So both these statements are incorrect. And this is from Yamaha customer service. Okay. <laughs> so I, again, I answered their reply with the facts. And that was on April 27th. And then... April 27th again, I received back. If you're unhappy with your purchase, you can return your manu manual back to the warehouse via mail for a refund, which I plan on doing because I can get the same thing for free online. Okay. And I wanted to show you my first email to Yamaha was April 9th to their tech guys, Motorsports Service, the tech guys. Hey, the... The manual's wrong. My engine looks like this. Can you please tell me which one of these marks is top dead center? That was April 9th. I have yet to get a reply. It is May 3rd. Okay. So then I, I had been working with Jack at Motorsports Service, the tech guys, about a month ago for another incorrect illustrated parts breakdown drawing that all the online suppliers use to identify parts. So I'll, I'll, I'm going to make an e uh, a video of that too and show you that. It's pretty funny. So Jack was a nice guy. Jack got back to me on that other problem really quick. So I decided, well, I'll email him back, attention Jack, on April 21st. And I still haven't got a reply back even though I showed him exactly what the pictures say. So now, as promised, I will tell you on the 2001 to 2007 engines what top dead center mark is, what the top dead center mark is. Okay, so there are four marks, one on the head, one on the cam gear, one on the case, and one on the crankshaft rotor. The only time all four of those marks will line up with a new chain, okay, the only time all four of those marks will line up is when it's on the third mark. The third mark on the crankshaft rotor is top dead center, okay? Now, I moved the chain around on the cam gear. 
I moved it a tooth before center and I moved it a tooth after center and none of the marks line up. All four marks do not line up. When I have the cam chain gear aligned with the head pointer and I come down here and align this, the only time it will align is when it's on the third mark. So the third mark here is top dead center. When all four marks line exactly, it's on the third mark. So that's it. On the new motors, the third mark is top dead center. All right? These two other marks are for spark timing. When you put your engine at 1400 RPM, you should see a spark between, you should see the light flash between these two marks. This is 9 degrees, this is 18 degrees. If you go to the XT250 manual, it actually tells you 10 degrees before top dead center. And I think their RPM is 1450. So I, I would bet at 1450, this would be at, at 10 degrees. Okay, so there it is. I, I know more than Yamaha does about what top dead center is on the XT225 engine. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.